Jerome Pio is here in studio with us uh, from down at Vermilion Parish and Vermilion Parish Schools. Um, and some good news this week about the district. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. No, Phenomenal you, news. Right? Phenomenal news. First of all, I'm back. I am back leading Vermilion Parish. What a great way to start off the week. Return of the Mac. He's back. So, yeah, I mean, you come back, these numbers come out, um, an A score, uh, you know, one of the biggest things in the, in all of the discussion of controversy about Vermilion Parish and your job and the questions that people had and the investigation, one thing you constantly said over and over and over was that you were there to get the scores and to work with people to make that happen, including the students, the parents, the teachers, the other administrators. The proof is in the pudding. Yes, it is. Every student, every day, the Vermilion way. We look at things a little different than many other districts. Okay. We look at it holistically. All right. We look at every child, do everything we can to make Vermilion Parish the best district in the state. Our students deserve nothing less than the best. Mm-hmm. What, is, what has all of this done um, for that focus, do you think? Not much. We built a phenomenal team in Vermilion. We That's have the great. best leaders. Great teachers, great support staff. When I left for those three months, yeah. they continued to move. They knew their direction. They knew what to do. We had instilled in them these high recommendations, and it was phenomenal. So has this been – okay, let's just – so you're out for three months. Where where are we in the process now? I mean, you return now, but are, are people still questioning within the – School board, whether or not there should be an investigation. Is there another one coming up? Where are we, Mr. Pio? Uh, according to the attorneys and the law and policy, the investigation's over. Mm -hmm. I am the superintendent of Vermilion Parish. I will continue to sit in the chair. The hearing officer gave his report. His findings said everything was unfounded. The board had 30 days after his report right. to either throw it out, to accept it, or to modify it. The board failed to do that, so it becomes law. It becomes final, and it's over. So now I am going to continue to be Vermilion Parish Superintendent and brag about our schools, yeah, the great the A district, yeah. the great A schools, and a phenomenal staff. Phenomenal teachers, parents, thank you, and students, a huge thank you. What does it, what lessons can we learn as folks who are listening right now, in your opinion, from this? You know, it seems it's like. It's very important. Okay. During this time where we're honoring veterans, that you vote and you vote with the conscious, not on a po political side, you vote for what is best for your district. You might just think a school board uh, is just a, a small school board member, but what they do and the decisions they make, they're creating the roadmap, the policies that direct superintendents to lead districts. It's very important to put the best people in place that are, are going to do what's right for students. Not we for look themselves. at students first. Mm -hmm. Right. It should not be a political position, mm -hmm. but one for students. Wow. I – um. This has been a wild thing, but, you know, it, it's interesting. Lafayette Parish has had its share over the years of, of trouble, situations. Uh, Dr. Z, I remember that years ago. Then we had uh, the, this latest uh, situation three or four years ago with um, the superintendent that we ended up having to pay off. Um, can't remember Cooper, his name. Cooper? Huh? Cooper? Yes, Cooper. Um, Title One, Act One. Act One. The legislature made that change, correct? Yes. 2012. Maybe for a lot of people on school boards across the state, they felt like they were then cut off from some of their power, perhaps? It should not be about power. It should be about kids. It should be about kids. And uh, Act 1 just gave more authority to the superintendent. Yeah, people if they're going to hire you... Like in any school district, right? I mean, if you're going to hire somebody to, to lead and, and do a job, then then people should back up and let you do the job. Unless you're doing so something so terribly wrong that it deserves termination. Let us run with it. Superintendents around here, 
Lafayette, kudos. What's happening in uh, St. Landry Parish, kudos to them. Mm -hmm. Patrick Jenkins doing a great job over there as superintendent. Kudos to Lottie Beebe and what she did. They had great growth. Beauregard, Evangeline, all these uh, Acadiana districts, St. Mary, everybody is doing a great job educating our students. It is very tough to uh, to educate and, and continue to have these high scores when there's constant change with the accountability system. The rules are changing daily. All the time. Every year on how they grade our schools. How can teachers keep up with that? I mean, the parents, the teachers, the kids. Well, they rely on the the help from central office. Right. Most people say central office is stacked. But honestly, right. central office is done right, the personnel work side by side with the teachers to make sure they have all the skills, the necessary, the teaching strategies, the curriculum, so our students in every classroom every day get the best education in every classroom every day, modified individually to that child that needs the help. What do you think really started all of this way back when? Was it the discussion about which school board member and there was a death of of one member and then some people thought this person should be given the seed or appointed to the seed? And did it really start with that, or were there other things that we don't understand as the public? We need a lot longer than the short time frame. We're going to discuss this to okay. discuss where it starts. Okay. But it starts way before uh-huh. uh, a year ago. It actually starts about seven years ago. Seven years. Yes. So how do you keep focused during that time when you know there are all these things going on? I'm committed to children. I'm committed to our schools. I surround myself with the best and to guarantee our citizens that every student will get the best education. You don't understand. I know our students are our future. And whatever I can do right now to help our students become the best, I will do it every day, day in, day out. It's what I'm committed to do. It's what I love to do. It's my passion. It's my heart, my family. My friends all support me. They were my backbone, and they helped me through some of the hardest months of my life. That's a lot of criticism, too, that that was out there. Uh, Amazing job uh, for teachers and parents and students and and the administration on getting the the A score, especially since the way it is calculated has changed. Um, What's in the future? I will continue to be Vermilion Parish Superintendent. And we'll continue to make great uh, strides to becoming the best district in the state of Louisiana. But also, like I said, Vermilion is going to work with other districts, working together, utilizing those funds collaboratively to ensure that we're all taking these same steps. Because there might be a line between Vermilion and Lafayette. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We can work together like we've done in the past to make sure their students and our students have the same resources and we continue to grow. It's the right thing to do. We've always done it and we'll continue to do it. Oh, and kudos over there in Iberia Parish. They have some great schools. Uh, Carrie Lavalette, new superintendent, really appreciate what you're doing over there. Um, Because Vermilion and and, and Iberia is really uh, interesting because they have their schools on Vermilion Parish property. So we love the fact that, that uh, Delcom Elementary and their schools are doing phenomenally over there. So kudos, uh, Iberia also. Well, Jerome Pio has been our guest superintendent of Vermilion Parish Public Schools. We want to thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you. And uh, good to know that there are some collaborations going on and, and help going on between parishes and superintendents uh, to, to really just bring everybody up. Amen to that. Have a great weekend, sir. Thank you.